Welcome, I'm Rob. You join me at Team Sport in Sheffield for my latest visit, a Wednesday night adult race experience. The first thing to say is you may have noticed in past videos I've been having a few issues with my camera cutting out. It's an old camera around seven or eight years I think and I have to change the battery for every session as it'll only last around about 20 minutes. Well, that is no more. I've recently purchased a GoPro Hero 11 and this is my first time using it in a go-kart. And whilst the battery was more than enough to last for both of today's sessions, as you might notice, I do need to adjust my mount slightly, it's just a little too low, and so you see the cart that I'm driving more than the carts that I'm following. So then, this crash. Let's do something slightly different. I'd like you to pause the video and leave a comment down below. What lap do you think this crash happened on? Whilst you're there, why not give that little subscribe button a click too? And as we get on the way, having been caught still warming my tyres, as I didn't quite know someone was behind me, I line up to come past cart number three on the inside of this fast section. I nearly bailed out as it looked like they were starting to come in on me, but thankfully I made it through okay. As we come back up the final ramp, I'm starting to close up on cart nine now, so I'll start to monitor how he drives so I can see where I may find an opportunity to pass. Well, that was an easy one there, as he's waved me on through, so off I go with a quick thumbs up, before the other hand goes up above my head to warn the spun out cart. And another spinner, so my hand goes up again. It's just to warn other drivers around me that I've lifted off the throttle. Whether they know, understand this or not, I don't know, but hopefully it will attract their attention and at least get them looking in my direction. That's the theory anyway. So we come up the ramp into a slow, controlled stop for this red flag. It's only a few seconds, so I'll let the video play on and wait for the flag to change. Now the marshal there is holding out the calm down board. It's not for me, but the two who span out. One of the marshals, Ben, in a previous video, had commented to let me know that it, they use this board when someone is driving slightly beyond their abilities and they just want them to back off a little bit. It's sort of a warning before they go ahead and use the black flags. So we've caught up to the back of car 16 now and we're about to enter one of the great battles. We're two quick drivers. It's the two quickest of this session it turned out. And when your pace is quite so evenly matched it can be quite difficult to find a clean way past. A small mistake from them has seen me close the gap right up and now I just need to watch for any sign of another mistake or a possible gap opening up. She's taking a look around to see how I'm positioning myself, but my weight slows me down up the ramp and she gets to the top carrying more speed than me. I've closed the gaps back up on the brake down the ramp into this switchback section And again, she's slightly quicker up the ramp than me, but not quite as much this time. So I'm quicker through the first turn. Maybe I can use this to my advantage. Yep, she's definitely slower through the hairpins than me. How can I use this to get round her though? Wow, that speed difference on the big ramp is going to be an issue. Close the gap back up again, but am I close enough? Not this time around. 
There's nothing I can do here just yet. Just have to sit behind and be patient. If I can be closer going into turn one, I might be able to run past into the second hairpin. Another mistake from them. If I can keep the gap like this, I might just have a chance. I just need to get up the ramps quickly. I wasn't going to pass there, I just wanted to be close at the start of the ramp, although I've ended up going a bit too deep. Ah, now we're closer. Can we make this work? She's slow out of turn one, but I'm still not quite there. I've decided that on the brakes into the second hairpin will definitely be my best opportunity through, so I just need to get that run through the final section. I'm sitting in tight again. I need to be as close as I can at the bottom of the ramp and get the best possible run out of the turn. Carry as much speed up the ramp as possible. I had to rake early down the ramp there, so I must be as close as I can be now. She's got the run up the small ramp, but that's to be expected. I need to ace turn one and sit there. This is my best opportunity so far. It's time to commit. I'm nicely on the brakes and I'm up the inside. I've lift enough space on my outside and I've had a quick check around me to see where she has positioned herself. And it lets me know I'm through cleanly. I use a small bit of clear track to put as much of a gap as I can. I need the gap in case I can't clear the cart up ahead quickly. Another quick look around to see where they are. It's not close enough to be a worry, so we should be fine if we can get past quickly now. So this lap, I'll be getting onto the back of them. It's time to watch their driving. I'd like to get past quickly this time as I don't feel I've gone particularly fast yet. Unfortunately, this lower section of the track doesn't generally lead to clean passing opportunities, so I'll just need to wait it out. Initially, I was quicker up the ramp, but I'm not far enough alongside to do anything here. Having seen the twitch of their car over the crest, I backed off and slowed the car, just in case. They're slow through turn one, and I'm partially alongside, but now I'm on the outside for the second hairpin. But Eminem might call me a trailer park girl, because I like to go around the outside. Now it's time for the clear track, now it's time to get the pace up. Although the tracking was slightly out in this car, it actually felt quite good to drive. It had plenty of low-end grunt for getting me up all of the big ramps.
I just need to concentrate on getting these corners perfect. I know we're coming to the end of the session at this point, so I definitely want to be getting my quick laps in now. The track ahead looks clear, but I might have one or two opportunities. I'd like to get back below the one minute mark in this visit if I can. The tyres feel good, the carts are balanced again. As I said, this cart sure feels capable of doing it, but am I? Cart 16, whom I did struggle to get past, did eventually go faster than me, after they cleared the previous cart too. We ended up being only one thousandth of a second apart. I couldn't quite believe it when I realised I've never had such a close finish. I'll let this lap here play out because it's the fastest of the session. And there we go, I'm back below that one minute mark, finally. But now we've seen the marshal with the chequered flag in his hand, and out come the yellow flags for the end of the session. But wait, where's this big crash, Rob? I hear you all screaming at me. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't leave it right in at the beginning of the video. I needed you to watch the whole thing. I'll play it now for you. Believe it or not, this actually happened on the outlap. We weren't even being timed yet. Six corners in, if that. And this is what's happened. This crash took almost five minutes to clear up and get everyone sorted out. I've taken a couple of small cuts and fairly big bruises, and I suspect I've cracked or possibly bruised a rib, but generally I'm okay if a little stiff. The NHS page for bruised or cracked ribs essentially tells you to man up and get on with it. So I've taken some painkillers, and we're good now. One of the guys who went into me in cart number 7 there quite badly hurt their already painful leg, but they were able to continue on for this session and chose to sit out of the second session. I'm hoping they're recovering okay now and there is no long-lasting damage for them. A quick shout out to all of the marshals involved in checking on everyone. I've left most of the footage in so you can just see how efficient and well trained they actually are. 
They do a fantastic job and deal with more nonsense than they need to. But come to a serious incident like this one and they are straight on it. They do a top job. Well done, guys. Remember, guys, motorsport, and that does include rental karting, is dangerous. Whilst accidents like this one are rare, they can and do happen. I've been fortunate so far and that this is my only big crash of the year. Don't let this put you off though. As long as you obey the rules of the flags and build up your speed and confidence slowly, something like this is not particularly likely to happen to you. If you've made it this far in the video and enjoyed what you saw, please do give it a quick like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope you took a guess in the comments when I asked at the beginning of the video and I'm just sorry I had to trick you into watching the whole thing. I'll be checking all the comments, so well done if you did guess correctly without cheating. As always guys, thank you very much for joining me on my adventure. Join me next week for the second session of this visit, and if you can't wait for that long for more karting content, check out some of my older videos. Until then, cheers.